All right, uh, the fall holidays are over. Halloween and Thanksgiving is a thing of the past, and if you're anything like my family, you probably have a couple of these little pumpkins just laying around. Don't let them go to waste. Uh, puree the insides for uh, your own pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin cake, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin roll, whatever. Uh, you get the point. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to uh, cook the pumpkin, get the insides out, get them froze up for a later time. It's real simple. We'll get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is get the uh, stem off the pumpkin. I don't know if I can break it off. I'm going to try to. And that was really simple. I've been working out. It's paying off. Now we're going to cut the uh, pumpkin in half from top to bottom. Mm, smells like pumpkin. Now we're going to get the uh, insides out. Now you can throw them away if you want, but I suggest you keep the seeds to roast. Now we're going to get most of the insides here. I'm going to run my knife around. Just make it a little bit easier to everything to cut out. You can take your hands up. I'm just going to take my hands. My clean hands. My wife is laughing. She don't always believe me. Okay, got most of the seeds out, most of the membrane. I'm just going to set them here on a cookie sheet. Actually a pizza pan in this case. It works. It works. Got them on the cookie, or a pizza pan. I'm going to set my oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to cook them about 45 minutes until fork tender. Okay, the pumpkins have been in for about 45 minutes now. Fork tender. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. Then we'll peel this skin back and we'll start pureeing. Alright, the pumpkin is cooled off good enough that we're able to work with them. I'm going to go ahead and peel the skin off. Just take a little better knife. Peel right off. We'll go ahead and continue this and then we'll get to pureeing them. Okay, we got the skin off the pumpkin. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, puree it. Now you can use a processor or a blender or what have you. But rather than me cleaning up a blender because I really don't want you and I am just going to use a potato masher. It works just as well. We get it pureed. We'll go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bags, mark it with a, 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 what's in the bag, the date, stick her in the freezer. Real you know, there, there's nothing better than a pumpkin pie from maybe the, from the pumpkins you raised or you bought at the uh, pumpkin patch, what have you. It beats a store-bought canned pumpkin any day of the week. Okay, we got the pumpkin pureed. We're going to go ahead and we'll put it in bags. I put about two cups per bag. Uh, the reason is most recipes you're going to find is going to call for two cups. Go ahead and seal it up good. Get the air out. Mark it. Put it in the freezer.